So I saw this game a couple of months ago and I thought it looked absolutely fantastic, but it was still in beta and currently still is if I'm not mistaken. But I saw some information on it today and I couldn't be more excited as well as some updated gameplay. So I did want to go ahead and cover it today. But hey guys, my name is Cody, your host here over at Further Beyond Gaming, and we're going to be talking about Tower of Fantasy. This game looks incredible just from what I've seen so far with the gameplay and probably what you're seeing on your screen right now. Now, exactly what is Tower of Fantasy? Well, Tower of Fantasy is a 2D immersive open world handheld game developed by Hota Studios, if I'm pronouncing that correctly it combines the labeled characterization film television grade motion capture high freedom world exploration and a scrappy sci-fi art style with a variety of scenes interactive puzzle elements and fast combat feel to tell you a post-apocalyptic story of rescue and destruction and to be quite honest with you when i look at this gameplay it looks phenomenal now i know there's going to be a lot of comparisons to genshin impact and what i will say is that this game on its own has its own feel and its own look and i'm really digging it because like i said earlier it does have that sci-fi feel or look to it and there are some other components of the game that definitely distinguishes it and makes it a little bit different distinguishes it from Genshin now the comparisons are going to be there which is understandable but nonetheless I love the design I love the look of it and there's some other things that we're going to talk about as well now the Unreal 4 engine creates 2500 by 2500 seamless world motion capture system gives the character real dynamic various scenes interaction can be used for everything low threshold high depth High refreshing operation system precisely meet the needs of all levels. Careless action can trigger the hidden plot, gradually unlock the secrets behind the main story. The fate and future of the world is in your hands every second. And as you can take a look, this world looks beautiful. And you can see the before, what I was seeing probably a couple months ago, and the after where they're going with this game and how it's progressing uh, with the time and work that they're putting into it. And once again, it's very unique, it's very different, it's very refreshing. And this is a game that I'm super excited for. Now, from what I understand, there's not a release date just yet, but they are slated for this year, if I'm not mistaken. And it is going to be an MMORPG, so a massive multiplayer online role-playing game. So, it's going to be very similar to Genshin Impact, but I think it's going to have, once again, its own uniqueness and its own ways of doing things from an MMORPG standpoint to where you'll probably have tons of raids, tons of dungeons, uh, being able to play with massive amount of people online. And you can see that there are unique weapons here that are not in the game of Genshin Impact. And I do apologize if I make that comparison a lot, but I know it's going to happen um, because of just how similar it is. But you can see that these characters wield guns, these characters wield dual swords or dual blades. And then in some aspects, you can see that they actually are able to switch between those weapons. Now, in this game, it seems as if you're going to have like a main character and you're going to be able to uh, customize this character to the way you want them to look. And you're going to be utilizing this character throughout the game. So it's going to be different from Genshin in the aspect that Genshin is a gacha system where you gacha for characters and you obtain them on your account, you build them up and you utilize them in a team format. This game seems to be more like you're going to build a main character, customize a main character, and that's the character that you're going to be utilizing throughout the game. I don't know if there's a gacha system um, associated with this game just yet. If you have more information, let me know in the comments down below, but I don't believe there is going to be. I think it's the main character. You customize your main character and then you upgrade and use your main character throughout the game like a typical you know MMORPG uh, is concerned and so where they may come with differences is within the weapons so uh, you can see at some points they'll utilize a uh, dual blade and then they'll switch to a lance and depending on the weapon that you're using it looks like that's how they'll be able to um, differentiate the combat 
as well as how they're going to be able to travel in the air. So like at one point she has a, a blade and she's able to do the spinning attacks throughout the air and then they switch to a lance and they are able to fly differently and then switch to dual blades and traverse the world differently. It looks really, really cool. And they, I think, initially had some type of glider or something of that nature. And it seems as if they went ahead and scrapped that idea and went with just a full on jetpack, which I am all for. And I'll take that each and every day, twice on Sundays. It looks amazing. I love the jetpack aspect, um, which I wonder how large this world is actually going to be. It looks like it's going to be very big from what I can see. She also has like a hoverboard or a skateboard that they utilize in here, which is really, really cool. Now, I will go ahead and um, be honest at this point and state that MMOs are not really my thing. They never have been. But when I take a look at this game, there are some MMO aspects to it, like the hoverboarding and, and things of that nature. That's very like MMO-ish. But there are other aspects to this game when it comes to the combat, when it comes to certain aspects of tra traversing the world. It doesn't give me that MMO field. It gives me more of that Genshin Impact field, which is obviously, as you guys know, if you've been here on the channel, is what I like. I like the Genshin Impact feel to it, not so much the MMO. So the combat looks very great. The uh, looks of it are fantastic. They're phenomenal. And I can be more excited about this game. I'm going to keep tabs on it, and I'm going to let you guys know if there's a release date. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, and make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to stay notified about this game. But once I get a release date and once it drops, I'm definitely going to be covering it here on the channel. So in the comments down below, let me know if you guys are excited about this game. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see this game on the channel. And also let me know if you're going to pick up this game. Uh, when it officially launches or drops and i don't know about a global release or an na release we'll have to see um i'll keep you guys all updated with that but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time it's your homie cody gt and i'm out bye guys